So this is it. This is the case that everyone is buying. This is the NZXT by H510 <laughs> CA510B BR Compact ATX Mid Tower Case PC Gaming Case. It's a lot. It's a lot. This thing is one of the lowest price points and one of the most highly rated. I almost guarantee you because of its price point. But also, it's just a, it looks like, uh, or but appears to be a solid mid ATX power case. So, for looking at one thing you always want to look at when you get one of these is how is your airflow going to work? And that, that can be pretty important depending on what your setup is like, right? So normally you intake air through the front, you pass air through here, and then you vent air from the piece, uh, from the CPU out the top. And that's, I, I like that because if you think about this for a second, you know, normally I like that top ventilation because hot air rises, right? Hot air wants to go up, cool air settles down. So you want to, help aid hot air to go out of the PC. And the most logical direction that's gonna go is up. So having that top ventilation, I always feel like personally, this is a personal opinion. It's not, it's based on some logicalness, but it's not, you know, it's just my personal opinion too at the same time. But I like it venting its hot air from, from the CPU, from the whole case out the top because that's where it's trying to go anyway. And so this has that. In fact, it comes with fans for that specifically. Normally the airflow is pulled through the front, but in this case it's actually being pulled through uh, to the side, which I don't think is a, I think that works just fine. You just have to keep that in mind on where you set it because it's gonna wanna intake its air here, right? If you block this, you know, you're not gonna be able to pull in a lot of air on the intake there. Just something to keep in mind. The front is very plain. It's and then it's branded NZXT, it's a solid black front. And here's your, like I said before, here's where you can vent air out the top. Now, I like it when these are larger. I like it when these are like, like I'm not gonna be able to draw it here. I like it when the intakes are actually more about like, or sorry, the exhausts are more like about this much area. But I mean, at least you've got a top intake, honestly, I'll take it. I don't think that's actually a huge criticism. I'm really just nitpicking at this point. I don't think uh, it's not a make or break. What is a bit of an issue I would say here is the number of USBs. You really don't, you don't have a whole lot of options up here. Normally cases come with a lot more and being limited on your USB inputs can be huge, especially for like a creator type like me where like I need every USB slot possible and more normally. So that's a bit of a disappointment. You do have a bit of cable routing using this red bar right here. So that's nice. Here's a look at the back so that the power supply will be down here in the bottom. You do have a tempered glass side. So if you're running cool RGB RAM, you know, uh, colored fans, LED fans, you're gonna be able to see those and they're gonna look really cool. That's nice. It's always good for gamers. Gamers are really like that. I really like that. Here's a look at the, where you can do some of the cable management in the side. Uh, your solid state drives, the one we just looked at, can go in here. And here is what it looks like with some mock-up components. I Yeah, the, the front fan system is a bit odd on how it's pulling in its air. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like that. It is cool looking inside. It is. I think for the price tag, this is actually for its price tag is a phenomenally, it's just a phenomenal case for its price tag. Could you find better cases out there? Oh yeah, for sure. But you're gonna be paying a lot more. And this, I don't think this is a case where like you're paying less and you're getting less quality. Like this is, this appears to be, and from the looks of things and from its setup, a solid design case for a good mid range or upper mid range system. If you're gonna try to be building a high-end system, I would not get this case. I will go with a much pricier case with more features. This is definitely designed, you know, without like maximum airflow in mind. If you're running a mid-range PC, you'll be fine with that. But if you're gonna go higher and you're gonna be overclocking and things like that, I would definitely find one that's a little bit more open concept and has a little bit better front ventilation. The first price tag, if you're building, if you're a first time PC builder, you're not gonna be doing overclocking. You're going mid-range, this is perfect. This is a great buy. Highly recommend this one.
Gaming creators, really quick, before you do anything else, enter to win our Gaming Creator Bundle sweepstakes, $1,100 in gear. We're giving away for $0. Link in the description below. It includes this exact audio setup you hear me on right now. It's the one we use on the podcast every single day. If you want to sound this good, this is live, by the way. This is not an edited video. This is the way it actually sounds. Let me just show you the bundle. It's freaking amazing. The bundle includes this microphone, shock mount, and boom arm, plus it includes the Rodecaster Pro Mixer, which is arguably the best creator mixer on the market, plus our friends at TubeBuddy threw in a TubeBuddy Legend license if you want to help grow that YouTube channel faster, plus our friends over at Restream threw in a Restream license if you want to stream to multiple platforms at the same time and grow your stream faster. Road hookup, TubeBuddy hookup, Restream hookup. They all just wanted to give you guys gear to help you succeed and software to help you succeed for free. So here you go. Link in the description below. Enter for your chance to win. I wish you the best of luck and I hope that you guys can maybe pick this package up and increase your quality and increase your chances of growing faster with the tools and gear that we use every single day to grow and hopefully you can use to grow as well. Link below, go do it. Thank you.